Have you ever wondered how much better is a cloud hosting than a shared hosting? Because with cloud hosting, you can scale automatically your servers and have super powerful machines running your website based on traffic peaks. I don't know about you, but I've been wondering this for a long time. So a couple of months ago, I moved my website with 17,000 visitors every month from HostPapa shared hosting to Google Cloud hosting just to test it out. But what I found out is a bit disappointing. Disappointing! With punch. Hello internet people, my name is Robert and on this channel I help website owners to run and grow their online businesses with digital strategy tips, website tutorials and tool reviews. So let's take a look at what I did and what were the results and the biggest question for me was that should I switch to cloud hosting now? All right, so here is my site speed overview in Google Analytics and you'll notice I have selected April versus March and in this graph you'll see that the orange is on my web hosting and the blue one is on the google cloud so you'll see the differences here and so this data is based on 30,000 page views so that's good i have a bit of sample size there and also you see if you look at these numbers that the average page load time is actually slightly less which is good so it's a bit faster but then again the difference is not that big we're talking about uh, 0.1 second so it's it's a very small change but if you look at what else is there so average redirection time that one is down great but it's such a small differences that uh, actually even same thing for average domain lookup time we're talking about like milliseconds here so really not i'm not counting these average server connection time uh i mean yes it's uh, up uh, by 12 percent, but we're talking about, again very very small differences but this is where actually you will see average server response time. That's where you see the difference between having Google Cloud versus uh, having a shared web hosting because the servers are just more powerful. So they're able to respond much quicker to the, um, the browser asking for the page. Here, the difference is actually 36% faster. So minus in this case is good. We want it faster, so we want it to be a lower number. And also average page uh, download time is lower. Again, makes sense. Your servers are more powerful, so they're able to just serve that content to, to the browsers much faster. So this is where you can see the difference. <laughs> As you can see, the total speed increased only marginally, but the thing is Google looks at the server response time more than the sum of the other metrics. So there might be some SEO benefits of having a, a quicker server. So let's take a look if I actually had that. So this is my Google search console. And here I can see all the impressions that I got from Google search. So impressions just mean how many times people have seen my website in the search results. This is the same time frame. I switched to Google Cloud around 31st of March. So you can see that there was, it was quite stable. And then I switched, it was nothing for a couple of weeks, but then about, uh, yeah, on 18th April, I see there's a new level is clearly that there's just new level for the total impressions. Unfortunately, this hasn't translated into total clicks to my website through Google. So you can see that, yeah, there's some peaks, but just it doesn't follow the impressions. So impressions have really uh, lifted, but the clicks haven't followed. So I don't know what this actually means. Maybe uh, it does appear more in Google, but maybe it's still appearing on the second page or something or at the bottom of first pages. Uh, so it's a bit strange because average position also hasn't really changed. You can see that it has good days and bad days. But to be honest, if I go back even uh, longer, six months, you have that variation anyway. Same thing with the, with the impressions. You can see that there was this level before, then it went up, then it went down, and now it's again up. Hey, if you like this video so far, consider hitting the like button because you help me to spread the word. But what's interesting is when you look at the new metric, which is called Core Web Vitals. And here, you can see it was quite steady. I had some uh, URLs that were in yellow, and then there was a jump here. This was still on my uh, shared web hosting. So it, I cannot say that Google Cloud did something because I changed it on this date, 31st of March. So then if we take a look, nothing really happened, but slowly but surely more and more URLs uh, kind of, you see that the yellow one is going down. The green one didn't go up at, at the same rate, but now actually 
this few days it looks like everything is now in the green which is pretty cool again i can't say for sure if this is because of google cloud it just jumps sometimes for no reason but it does help having a better server to send positive signals to google but what about the costs is it really worth all the hassle if you ask me at this point is it worth it it all comes to the money so if i take a look in april i paid about 19 dollars for google cloud and this goes up with your traffic so the more traffic you have the higher the price also uh, if i compare to my web hosting so for my shared web hosting i'm using uh, host papa they're a canadian company you can see that I'm using the Business Pro and you can get it for as low as uh, 10 euros a month. Uh, this is, I think, for three years. So you're a bit stuck with them. Uh, but honestly, you can get it for three, three euros for uh, the, the lower tier. So the difference between having a shared web posting and Google Cloud is huge in terms of price. Because if you have a, a lot of traffic, obviously you want to then consider Google Cloud. But if you're in the mid-size, then shared web posting might be perfectly fine for you because yeah you don't want to pay for something that doesn't actually bring you more value for me the three percent increase in speed is just not enough i think i can spend that money for something else the thing is with website optimization it's not so much about your servers it's what's on your server so it depends what you install on your wordpress or in your websites in general if you have a lot of all kinds of scripts loading it's gonna be slow if you have big images it's gonna be slow so really the uh, server response time it's nice but in the end if your server response time is fast but then you have a bunch of scripts there and it loads in like 10 seconds it's not gonna help you so you need to optimize first what's on your website and then you can go into this nitty-gritty stuff with servers the stuff on your website that's what creates the slow loading pages now let's be honest my website might not be big enough to really see the benefits of cloud hosting my shared hosting is clearly capable of handling the load and i have a highly optimized website so the load speeds are not that different actually but again i'm not a pro with servers so maybe someone who understands them a bit better than me can point out if i missed something maybe the cloud hosting wasn't as powerful as i thought but for now my conclusion is that cloud hosting is not for me at least right now just because of the price let's see when my website reaches a hundred thousand visitors a month i might run this test again in any case if you use google cloud you can try this yourself for free for like three months so if you're into these kind of things, I highly recommend trying it out for your website. It might do some wonders. As I mentioned, I've highly optimized my website for load speed and I use one plugin that does most of my optimization work. To learn more about that plugin, check out the video right here. And in case you are curious to find out why I use HostPop as my shared hosting, check out this video right here. Whoosh.